it's time to, to start um, with materials. Um, EV um, use uh, PBR materials and um, I recently discovered um, this uh, library, uh, the Megascan library from uh, Kixel and I take a seat and uh, I was really um, surprising, surprised by how simple it is. Um, I use uh, Bridge um, to, to import material in blenders. Uh, it's very easy, there is a small, um, a small add-on. Um, I can just um, uh, set the import option Megascans live link here and, and you can install the add-on like every uh, Blender add-on. Um, after that, um, I will check here the resolution of your of my texture. I want 2K, this one, okay. And I download the, the texture. Um, takes a bit of time depending of, on the size of uh, the size of what you're downloading. Great. Um, after that, uh, I have here um, the export setting and I can export to Blender. Okay. And if I have uh, Blender open and Bridge open and I just click to export, normally I have here uh, my material in the scene. So I can go here um, and I will see clearly uh, my material is here, pattern and marble. And everything is done with the um, texture, the slot, etc. And uh, it's really um, impressive and uh, the material are really realistic. So I recommend you to um, find solution to simplify your, your workflow with texture uh, create library by some uh, some texture uh, uh, on website or create your own library or whatever. But yeah, with uh, this one, I'm pretty happy with uh, with this. It's a bit expensive if you're uh, only a Blender hobbyist, uh, and um, but I think it's uh, it's really powerful. Um, so good. Um, now um, I will uh, go to another material and a complete material. Here I want a brick wall um, and I want all the texture that I have here, okay, um, a base color, specular, roughness, normal map and also a displacement map because it's a brick wall and uh, I would like probably to have uh, shot animated shot something like this and i would like to see the the the, the, the 3d part of my wall so i need a displacement and as you know uh, you you cannot use um micro displace, displacement with the the the, the modifier um, and the displacement option in the shader um, as you can do in 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 cycle in ev it's not possible so what I would like to do with this wall is to export the wall to an, another file uh, then link it back. So I have this object selected and what I can check here is the scale and the option I can just set apply scale. It's better before exporting anything uh, and I separate this faces okay only these faces um, and I call this uh, wall brick Oop, like this perfect and I save this uh, I save my scene and I create a new new scene and I save this scene uh, uh, at the same place that I have my main scene 
and I name this in brick wool and I will um, append this time not link append uh, the scene um, oh. okay and I will append this object br uh, wall brick in my scene here okay so I have here my I have here my uh, my my wall, and I I will now create the material for this. Um, I remove the material. I create a new one, wall brick, and we could see how work now a uh, PBR um, material. Um, normally, um, it's always the the, the same. You have um, texture, image texture for uh, not this one. Uh, where is my brick wall? This one. You have a texture for the base color. Sometimes, depending on on your texture, it's called albedo. Sometimes it is base color or diffuse color. Um, the name could be a bit different, but it's always the same. Oh, my UV is broken here. I just want to go in uh, 3 and 5 in orthographic view and press U in edit mode to project from view my texture. Um, and in the UV um, panel here, I just scale a bit my texture. Something like this, just for to start. Okay, perfect. Um, and now uh, I will switch into render and add a point light. And I will put my point light here. Okay, perfect. Not really, really realistic. Okay, but it will be better uh, after. Um, Great. Uh, this texture coming also from a Megascan library, but it works for any uh, PBR material or texture that you have imported or created yourself. Um, oh. The third uh, things we want to add is um, the occlusion. The occlusion texture is um, here to simulate some uh, cavity, some hole in the texture um, and some shadow uh, surface um, that the render uh, could not calculate because it's too uh, thinner shape or it's, uh, it's um, difficult to, to calculate with the, the um, traditional uh, shadow. So it's a, it's a map to create some uh, shadowing in, in the surface. Sometimes it's also called KVT, um, depending on the software, on, your, on the software they, 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 they are for. Um, and I will add the texture here, okay? And you will see that if I connect to the base color, this is something like this. So you could see the, the, the the volume of the of the of the material here, and what I need to uh, between this one and this one is a color mix RGB, and I would like to um, make something like this. Okay, this one, this one, but I want this in a multiply mode. Okay, I want to multiply this texture. I will just remove the. I want to multiply the occlusion. And that's it. Um, the third one here is um, probably you will have a specular, um, a specular map, okay. And sometimes is uh, useful, sometimes not, depending on the material. But this all three texture are set in. SRGB color space. Um, the following uh, ones will be set uh, in a non-color space. Keep this in mind 
because it's really important. Um, and the next one is the roughness. Uh, this one. Yes, like this. And in this case, it's not really uh, <laughs> clear because um, it's a brick wall here. Um, and this needs to be a non color. Okay. Um, the last one here is the normal map texture and normal map. And to connect correctly the normal, um, you need to add here something between. And it's a vector uh, normal map and connected like this. Okay. And um, take care about face orientation. Okay. This is the normally uh, origin. Okay. This is the uh, inside my uh, my space. This is outside. So the um, the back face is here. The good face is here. And take care about that because um, the the normal will react differently if is the the back or the good face. Okay. Uh, so that's it. Pretty over. Not bad. But still missing the um, something here. Okay, it's normal. I don't have the the displacement. And um, to have a proper displacement, uh, we'll need to use um, the a mo uh, displacement modifier. Um, but I need to subdivide my object. So um, what I will do here, I just select uh, this um, this um, this edge. I will press Shift E and just drag it to one it's because I want to increase that one on this edge. And now uh, I will uh, create loop cut. And what I want to do is uh, to create something more like this. Okay. I will subdivide the 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 object. Okay. And if I just press uh, subdivide like this, I have uh, not an equal density of vertices. Okay, uh, so it's not really good to use um, displacement with a, a, a surface like this. So I first um, create something more like this, more like a, a square. Okay, and after that I can subdivide. Like this, okay, perfect. Um, now I will add um, a multi-res modifier, and I subdivide it again, again, something like this. I think it's okay. Uh, and I just want to remove this. Now I could add a displace modifier. I set a new texture, and I. Name it brick wall disp. Um, I now add the last texture displacement. Great. Uh, um, it's not a texture that you are supposed to use in every PBR shader, okay? But when you have some specific material or important material in your scene, it. It's uh, it's good to to use to use it, but uh, you will see that in terms of poly counts, it's a uh, it's a bit frightening. Frightening, yeah. Um, great. Uh, we have the displacement now, but it's not really good. It's because uh, we want the normal direction, but not in local coordinate, but in UV coordinate. Okay. Um, I also would like to shade smooth my object. Okay, right click and shade smooth. Um, and now I have the strengths. So you will see that if I put the strengths like this, uh, I have something strange here. Um, so I probably will uh, set a value of 0 0.2 or 0 0.3. Okay. And this is, uh, this is pretty better. Um, 
but you will see that the displacement work only uh, on the existing vertices. So if I now subdivide the multi-res, uh, I will pass the displace uh, not like this, okay, like this, okay, and subdivide it again. Yeah, that's good. Now I have something better, but I also have one billion triangle in my scene. This is why I, I use uh, the brick wall on an external scene. Um, but you will see now the if I if I move some 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 lights that the lighting is really better now. Okay, so that's it. Um, I don't need a collection for that uh, brick wall. I can let my scene like this. I can save, and now if I go to uh, new scene uh, tutorial. Uh, I could delete this one, uh, I save my scene and I link again the, um, I link again the, the object, um, going to, uh, going to uh, brick wall, where is brick wall, uh, yeah, like this object, wall brick, link from library, perfect. And now you will see that I have uh, a proper scene. Um, and using a linked object. And of course, um, what I would like to do is to um, downscale the, 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 the poly number of my wall uh, because I would like to work on other objects and I would like to work more freely. But for the final render, I just go in the brick wall scene um, and set the, the multi-res on a high value and uh, it, will be, it will be good. Okay, so um, this is what I would like to tell you about EV with the, with the materials. Uh, displacement modifier in the shader and with the cycles method do, don't work. Um, the only way I, uh, I use to, to work with displacement is this one. Uh, actually not very, <laughs> not very low, but uh, working good for this kind of scene. Um, see you soon for the, the next tutorial.